Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are in the LZ Alpha, very nearly a, a cycle 500. We are here trying to solve a mystery. I also want to disable these because just in case they're adding a little bit of heat. Last time we spent most of our time working on this cooling system over here, this little cooling loop over here, trying to cool down this steam set of steam turbines over here so we could cool down the petroleum that is running down under here so we could actually get a near limitless supply of cheap easy power now that has not worked out too well for us because we are limited in certain types of materials but we are working our way to making that a reality one of the things that we are short of let me try and grab the right person here uh, one of the things that we're short of is uh, a, an amount of coal so i might very well be expanding our hatchery today i think that's a good idea but i want to solve a mystery the mystery of this cipher here about this sort of time every day yeah there we go something weird just happened about this time every day he seems to try and get himself locked inside uh, this little cubicle down the bottom and I've always been wondering why and I think I can now see it uh, Doc docking exosuit um, is a personal need errand so it'll be performed before regular errands uh, this means it must have run out of oxygen or something and so now that he's refilling it now that's uh, that's not overly useful buddy so it must have just enough uh, just enough charge in there to see him through this far during the day. I wonder why is he... I wonder, if he, is he a mouth breather? Is that what's going on? Let's have a look. Mouth breather, yeah. So he consumes more oxygen than most other duplicants. That's uh, that's crazy. So he needs to come and re refill every day. But as I say, today we are working on this cooling loop over here to try and get this uh, set of steam turbines chilled down. You see they're doing quite well, but these were down into the teens and now they're not anymore. And I'm not sure, sorry, the hundred and teens on the temperature and they're in the 120s at the moment. I'm not sure what has caused this, uh, this, this lack of cooling. Though as I'm looking over here, I can see, yeah, the thermo sensor is tripping. We're up too high and that... And unfortunately, it's something we have to deal with because, as you can see, this Thermo Aqua Tuna has an overheat temperature of 175. We only made it out of gold. That is still better than most materials, but we need to start working towards our iron slash steel. Uh, I'm going to put up 12 of these. This is how many we need. You can see we get 100 kilograms uh, per cycle, and you need 100 and uh, sorry, 1,200 to build a Thermo Aqua Tuna. Let's come down into here, Thermo Aqua Tuna, as you can see. Uh, 1200 above the material so we need to make that much I don't think we've actually got enough refined carbon as you can see we've got 48 kilograms we're using 20 ago that's that's not even close to be honest I don't think we've even got enough lime we've got a hundred we need a uh, 120 so that that's also going to be uh, pulling it quite tight but let's start with that refined carbon we've got a hatchery over here uh, and we can definitely expand this out to more hatcheries I'm thinking this area over here is looking like prime real estate for a almost exact copy of this Oh, whilst, uh, whilst they're working on this, there is something that I have discovered recently. I was uh, looking up various forms of critters to see if there was anything we really needed to be mining that we're not. And I've recently found out that shove voles, so there's a buried object there, can uh, bury their ways through all of this, unless it's made out of things like um, obsidian. So I, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to be like, hey, obsidian, can we just make sure that these guys can't get through here? That'd be really good. Is there one over here? I keep seeing a few of them. Uh, and we don't want to let them into the base because they'll come in uh, and they'll eat like these things down here and excrete solid tiles behind them so if they eat this mathic rock they'll eat the 1300 kilograms of the mathic rock and then leave uh, 6500 behind sorry 6050 behind uh, they leave a tile of half uh, but of this that needs to be dug out uh, so I don't I don't want that happening in the base, you know? We, we could end up with uh, all sorts of things being entombed, and this will help us, I believe. In fact, if we replace this one, uh, let's actually dig this out, and then I'm, I'm a little concerned by the fact that we've got regolith here and regolith here. But if we dig that out and replace it with a pneumatic door, the uh, wiki tells us that they can't get through these. I assume it's because it's full of holes. 
Oh no, we are not consuming. Are we consuming the water? I don't know. Yeah, it should be flowing through. Why has this been turned off? Because it's floating that way. That's fine. That's fine. Actually, I'm fine with that. Uh, this builds up a bunch of water and then comes flows back into the base. Uh, the reason that I am looking uh, looking at all of this is because I've noticed our water stocks are starting to drop a little bit low. Uh, so maybe we need to start thinking about how to replenish that. Of course, the major way would be to fix this. Um, let's have a look at what's going on here. Uh, you can see that they coming in at uh you know 12 let's, let's look over here about four degrees and we're exiting at 55 which means we're exiting at the same temperature as this maybe actually what we want to do is drop this down here and then uh have this all as a colder area i'm not sure how i can get in to do that though that's the problem i mean honestly i shouldn't actually need to now that i stop and think about it well if we just do that uh that should now yeah okay we're got some weirdness going on but i'll accept it i will accept it that should concentrate the cooling on this bottom end here and uh really what we should if i hit the right buttons what we should be doing is uh setting those up for when the door opens uh oh wow we got a problem here okay undock the suit and then say deliver the suit here the reason that we've got a problem is because the cipher cannot grab any oxygen oh man dude can can we can we put this somewhere on the like dude can can you can you just put this over here uh errands no pending deliveries there's a delivery right there oh no uh right first off let's let the cipher through the door so we can go get some some oxygen off you go man uh secondly what's going on with the ex exosuit also we should have a bit of a flow of oxygen coming through here now all the waste oxygen that's coming up and through is getting preferentially uh taken by this this little bit here uh it takes it and dumps it into the base back this side and should hopefully be flushing all this area out so this is something that doesn't happen again i'm um Still confused about what to do about this atmospheric suit, though. We're not getting enough enough oxygen in through the top here, and I'm not sure why. Okay, I assigned the suit to him so that he's managed to escape. I'm still not sure how we're going to fix this, though, to be fair. Why is this not producing? What's going on? It's because we're not shedding excess power. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Let's figure out how to do that, shall we? Um, the problem is that the transformer is only one direction. I want. I kind of want to go. I want to feed back into the grid. Uh, let's let's see if we can do it like this. I'm going to set it up, and maybe it will work. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Uh, everything about this screams that it's going to be wrong, but I would like to know. But I would really like to know. We'll put a shutoff valve here to see if we can control the flow. I also want to put this across here and then take that out. Uh, right, we will put that on a high priority because I actually want this to be turning over so we get more oxygen pretty quick for the base. And we'll see how this happens. Hopefully, because it's morning and everybody's over here, we should get people working over this side almost immediately. Do you think I need to take this bit of sedimentary rock out? Possibly. Let's try it. Oh, there was something else I wanted to do as well. Uh, you see over here, I'm going to break this because I want to use this for something else. Uh, down here, in fact. But I also want to reconnect this because I feel like we could do with a little bit more uh, thermal mass in the water in our cooling uh, area down here. Okay, will this work? Uh, yes. Yes, it appears that it will work. We're draining nicely from the battery. There's definitely going to need to be a point where we slam down a thing over here unless this can... Uh can keep up with production i kind of doubt it though let's go into the power let's get the uh the power shut off over here i want to do that over there uh, i think we also now want the automation we'll, we'll see what happens when this i can't remember which way uh automate turns the power on off yeah it doesn't say which way around do i need to put a knock gate in there or do i just run it straight as it is i'm going to try just running straight as it is um yeah we'll, we'll see we'll see how that runs out uh, looking at our previous automation setups, that's probably totally not the way we want to do it. Let's uh, let's go put a knock gate in, probably about here. Oh wait, what did I just see there? Oh, I didn't know that did that. Okay, let's get rid of uh, this power shut off. We don't need that. We don't need that. I don't think. Uh, let's use the automation wires instead. Okay, that might work well for us. I'm hoping. Okay, it appears to have done exactly what I needed it to. It's shut down. Forest is uh, valiantly coming along to provide some backup here. Uh, but this should hopefully now keep us in the closed loop and not having to worry about... What are you suffocating for? Just ah, decipher, really? Uh, decipher that way. Go. Yeah. 
I'm not sure if Forrest is permanently stuck here now, or is this going to top out at any point? This is turned on, yeah, it's not going to top out at any point because the pu the draw is always harder than what Forrest can provide. Let's uh, let's just do this quick, turn that off so that it will uh, top up to 100% and uh, hopefully set Forrest free of his never-ending nightmare that we've got going on right here. And maxed out, beautiful, beautiful. Took a little while, but we are there. Nice, I love it, I love it. Who's idle? What's going on? Shroudicus, yeah, you, you are definitely in trouble there mate same way that um the cypher was in trouble and we're gonna fix that in the same way of giving you access to the door just just go go deal with stuff i mean look at all this gas that we need to deal with there's a lot of chlorine that really shouldn't be here okay so we've got a whole bunch of water flowing through here and it's going quite nicely but i think i think we can make this better i'm gonna destroy this liquid bridge here and we're gonna replace it as soon as i can find the thing that i'm looking for with a liquid shuttle valve yes it's my new best friend we're gonna be using the liquid shuttle valve let's turn this around i actually want it over this side so that we can have a quick and easy access i've got to come out of here and destroy this ladder as well uh so that it's got less distance to travel well before it gets to the pipe so it can react quicker that's the plan anyway oh look there does appear to be water kind of getting stuck here and this is one of the things that i want to do so now that we've got those two turned off it will continue pouring the water down there no problem that is right up until it gets to the point where the steam temperature drops below 125 which is what we're here to try and do uh so that will no longer turn over that's fine that's fine we'll go for the insulated pipe coming all the way across to here and then of course the liquid shuttle valve coming down now this liquid shuttle valve is going to let's let's do that like that i don't really actually want to change the pipe type there but i do want to have that pipe coming in here okay so what have we got that this is made out of of course it's a lead pipe of course like, like, why would i not be making everything out of lead uh the uh, next thing that i want to do is to have a knot gate oh in fact we've got a little bit of control here so i'm going to do it like that we're going to come up into there uh we're not going to control this though no no i want to come across and up there oh just a little bit too far uh and into that so that should now work out as a nice uh control system to get more water coming in whenever this is too hot i also said that i wanted to do something with this so let's whilst they're building all of that do something with this i want to turn this around i want oh, i want it going there all right that, that that was close that was close we'll carry on building it like this i want to bring this down here and i want to change this it no longer should be dealing with crude oil no 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 i want to put some petroleum in there yes please whatever petroleum we've got kicking around if we could do that and have that put into this system that would be very handy Okay, I'm going to go change some settings here. You can see that people have been making through and dropping their atmospheric suits here. Uh, this is because our clearance was on always. A little confusing with this button being the other way around. You can see down here, clearance vacancy. Oh, no, 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 clearance always. So you've got to go through and click all of these. And this should hopefully stop people dropping their suits on the floor. Oh. In aid of getting the second, well, third, sorry, hatchery up and running, I'm going to move all of this ethanol into this bottle emptier over here, and hopefully we'll make another nice little pool of water underneath for a, an auto kill. Where, where, where's Miss Align's atmospheric suit gone? We seem to have a bit of a problem here. Jelly and then Shrouticus. Is he the one who's coming through the bottom here? No. Okay, so we've got one of these suits is a little bit too much down here, but that still doesn't mean... That still leaves us one suit short. Say that this suit is misaligned, and we've got an empty bed. Yeah, that we're, we're an atmospheric suit short somewhere. Where did it even go? It has gone down the bottom of the ladder here. Wow, that is crazy. How, how has this got dropped down here? I mean, I can, I can take a guess about how it's got dropped down here. Let's try misaligned. Let's see if you can get out here we might be able to let you pass the checkpoint if we go uh, no, no 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 disable the building don't deconstruct the building i mean as fun as that would have been okay and then we let miss aligned out and she'll go get that suit and that should hopefully balance her out i don't know what we're gonna do about shrouticus but down here the temperature regulator appears to have been put in place when this gets above uh 150 this knot gate turns that into a go signal and this liquid shut off valve will let all this water down and through have i done that the wrong way around of course i've done that the wrong way around Okay, so as I was saying, we've got this wonderful little return system on the go here where it appears that it will indeed flush water down when this fits to the off state. Uh, of course, we do need to get this little bit of wire put in here, but that's, uh, that's going to get done sooner rather than later. 
The next thing I wanted to be addressing was this uh, delivery of petroleum over here. If we could get that done, that would be very handy. It looks like most people are going to be uh, be putting that far down the list. Someone at some point will get to it, though. It looks like maybe uh, Forrest or Mad Frank are going to be the first. But they've all got other jobs that they need to be getting on with. All right, let's try and kickstart this a little bit. If we do that, who do we get? Legit, my friend. Ah, oh, it's going to take you a long old time to get there. We've got a few bottles of petroleum down here that I want to move all of them into this cooling loop that we've got set up. So it's going to be interesting to see if it even gets there. We, of course, need to make sure that it does not reach temperatures of above 300 degrees because of course when petroleum hits too high a temperature if we go and have a look in the uh, the database over here 538 degrees actually that, that's a bit more uh, it's a bit easier to deal with but still it's um temperatures to watch out for okay legit dropping off our first petroleum delivery beautiful beautiful that should then get picked up passed through these pipes here it would really have been nice to get a little bit more than that but it gets passed through these pipes here comes down into our metal refinery down here where of course we still have our 12 bits of steel set up and ready to go it says it's a waiting coolant but man i think we need a little bit more coolant than that look at that yeah beautiful it's there, but it needs... Oh, it needs more. All right, I've waited far too long for these guys to come and deliver this. Most of the cycle, in fact. So I'm just... I've, I've just hit go. I've just hit go, and hopefully people will bring a whole bunch of stuff along. We've got all of this here. So if we're lucky, it'll all get picked up and moved in one go. Hopefully. I mean, Mimi seems to be doing quite well with that anyway. And of course, when she gets down here and puts it in there, it's going to be a, a small amount of time where nobody's able to do the job. Oh, look, it worked. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Uh, there's going to be a small amount of time where no one's actually able to do the job before it then becomes available again. And I bet we're not going to be able to keep them turning over as quick as that. Bam. And Decipher's immediately on it. Go on, my friend. Let's go get this stuff. Okay. Decipher went and cleaned up the deck here. I like that. That's good. Well, I don't think about 14 kilos is going to cut it for the uh, the coolant here. We need to figure out how to get more petroleum, petroleum up here. Uh, and with this stuff coming in at 300 degrees, I don't know if this is the stuff we want to use. Okay, we're going to do something a little bit crazy here. We're going to deconstruct this. Hi, saying, come on, let some, someone come along and break this for me, please. Because we want to take this wire, uh, this pipe, sorry, off on a little adventure. We're going to go on a great big excursion going down towards the... Uh, the metal refinery coolant over here it's what we're heading towards and hopefully we got it's what we're going to be able to make use of okay that's that line into place it's going to take a little while for everyone to come along and build stuff but thankfully we've got these storage bins because kind of like spread about everywhere splattered around everywhere if you will uh, and that should provide us with enough building materials all the way along here to not really have to worry about it too much hopefully by the end of this or the next cycle we'll be good so i feel like i need to give you guys a kind of a road map where we're at right now so so you might remember that we're doing this to try and cool down this uh, this steam section over here so that we can turn these steam turbines on and get their own cooling underway. We've decided that that's not really going to work. It doesn't, just somehow doesn't seem to be bringing down the temperatures of the building quick enough. We sometimes get down into the 116s and then it teases us and pushes us back into the 100s. We are, of course, trying to get down into the sub 100 the whole time time. So because we decided that didn't work, I thought that the next thing we need to do is of course try and make some steel so that we can put down an aqua tuner under here and then maybe use that to cool the area and have a dedicated service rather than this sort of split between the two things that we've got here. I feel like the fact that we're not constantly pumping out cold liquid from this this junction here is the reason why we are not doing so well. So we have got 40 cycles to try and free ourselves, free this system from the tyranny of this one over here, create enough steel that we can build another aqua tuner underneath that can deal with the temperatures that are down here, and then chill this area enough that we can start using the power from this to actively power that aqua tuner and start bringing all the temperatures down to here into a nice workable condition so we can start turning all of this on more oil into more petroleum, cool it down, get the power from it. Oh, it'll be amazing, but wow, it is work. Where is Luna? It's the middle of the night. Let's have a look. Let's go through here. Luna, you are... Why are you sleeping down there? No path or something? I don't know. It's been a little bit weird. I think Luna might even not be getting into the bed a lot of the time. I'm not certain. We might have to try and figure out what's going on there. Anyway, move, move these liquids over here. I'm hoping Luna will actually get on with that as she is like right there. No, it's Mimi. Okay, well, fair, fair enough. 
Fair enough. More importantly, what's going on with the uh, the pipeline here? It is happening. Waiting for that alarm to finish. That'll tell us that Luna's done the thing. But of course, that's not how these work. The alarms won't just finish because it's not a build errand. It's not a build errand at all. Uh, here comes uh, Mimi right now. Where did she get the... The ethanol form. What, do, do we have another ethanol source somewhere? I didn't know. Well, we've got like pretty much exactly a kilo on each side here. Uh, it would be nice to get something similar here. Um, more, I just want to tidy up all this ethanol, you know? All right, that makes that first outflow ready. And we should start... Oh, it's such... Uh such a pathetic little bit of petroleum but we should start to see stuff flowing from here it'll get from this one to that one and i think it might even get down to this liquid bridge here but you can see that we've still got pipe that needs to be filled in in fact it looks like apart from a few of stro uh, rogue stragglers that's what i was going for down there there there's just this piece here why is this not being done it's just sedimentary rock i'm, I'm assuming that we've got some oh actually that might be an assumption too far yeah no no sedimentary rock here we got igneous though mm, interesting all right okay all right i think the uh, the full flow is up and running 10 kilos wow this must have output another four kilo nugget that's pretty cool four kilo yeah five plus four is definitely 10 right guys <laughs> sometimes i wonder where my head's at whilst i'm doing this talking but anyway yeah this this little guy he's uh, he's gonna go on he's gonna hopefully add himself to this little cooling loop that we're gonna get going I don't know exactly how much petroleum we're going to need before this ticks over. I'm wondering whether if we come into the refinement and down here, does it tell us how much it needs? No, just, just intake. Just intake. Oh, I really worry about where they're bringing all of this ethanol from because it's really not from down here. They're just finding it from all sorts of places. Oh dear, something's gone a little bit wrong here. We have got ourselves some salt water coming into the system. I think we're just going to put up the priority on the repair for that and just kind of ease our way through that. It wants iron ore. We're making iron ore over there. No problem. Another thing that I have just learned that is going to cause us a little bit of problems is the fact that this, this metal refinery right here wants 400 kilograms petroleum to get running oh man that is a big big number uh, a number that is not gonna uh, not gonna happen uh, with the plan we have right now so I think my big plan is to put the priority up of these bottle emptiers here so that we can go around and pick up all the crude oil and put it down I'm not sure exactly how much we have everyone's on low priority people are still on low priority uh, hopefully jelly cubic someone will come around uh, and help us out here I also want to go looking down for some uh, crude oil i was gonna say petroleum for a moment there but that's not what i want a whole bunch of crude oil that we can just mop up and uh hopefully that will get used well without it burning everything down i'm a little worried that it's going to be too hot in there okay this is the big influx of salt water i don't see any more here so this will be the last of it we need to get through ah oh, it doesn't quite completely destroy that is uh, a little bit of a shame i'm wondering whether there'll be anything left of the salt water afterwards i'm about to find out well oh, mimi might only be here to mop up yes indeed i mean that's that's fine it's uh, kind of essential that we have a clean place but who who is on no no one's on the repair what well, I'm watching her run up with the materials, and I don't have the errand written down. I wait, What does it appear under? It's just repair supply. It doesn't seem to actually come under anything in particular. All right, that's a bit weird. That's a bit weird. It's a quirk of the game to be aware of. I would have liked to have known. I really, really would have liked to have known where that, uh, where that errand was being stored. Oh, no. There's more. There's little bits more. Well, at least we probably have got rid of it now. No, um, who, who's coming to do the mop? How about if we do that? How about if we do this? Okay, there we go. Now we've got people coming along. Oh, that's the storage bin. No, that's what went wrong. Okay, literally on Luna's next list to do. That's pretty good. Misaligned also. That's, uh, that's intriguing. That's intriguing. I wonder if Luna's always going to have one other thing to do afterwards. Is this both Luna and Miss here? I can't quite see through the through the haze of two sets of letters there but i think mr line might indeed be pulling ahead a little bit okay cool 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 i don't know what they're doing though i really have no idea stored some snow okay all right fair enough that, that that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so now that we've got all that salt water let's cancel that and bam beautiful wonderful we'll leave that there maybe at some point we'll want to remove it oh it's not not registering as available to the pitcher pub that's interesting Oh, yeah, here's 200 kilogram deliveries. Look at this. Beautiful. So, so those should actually have done us enough as long as it all gets turned 
into petroleum. I don't know what the conversion rate is. Do we get to know here? It takes in 10 kilograms of crude oil and oh, puts out half. So hopefully the majority of these would have had that covered. Oh, we'll find out. We'll find out. Oh, no power to run the pumps. That's bad. Of course, we do have the issue that the crude oil is super hot. Like, super hot. Like, wow, that's hot. I have a feeling that eventually we're going to get pretty extreme with this. I'm going to end up chop chopping off the stuff that goes down here because we want to end up having this have its own little cooling unit over here anyway. So we're going to end up chopping that and then we'll have like this loop coming around here. But actually, I want this first to go through this little door section here. I want one set of pipes to go up here and then I want another set of this pipes to come down the other side. So we'll have uh, the, the cool coming out of here at near enough zero degrees and then hot coming down this side. I then want the cooling section to come up over here uh, to cool down the stuff coming down towards the metal refinery. Oh, uh, I think that's obvious, but I always find that I don't explain these things well enough, so I should probably do so. So the first thing it does is take the heat out of whatever's left from coming out of here. It's not going to be any higher than 125, uh, 150, sorry, and this should get it back down to zero degrees. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Then coming up back here, we want to go past this build, this um, steam turbine here. I want to actually make these pipes go all the way across and down, kind of like they are, but get rid of this snake stuff here, and then use the, uh, the, the cooling from this to come up and take this this uh, steam turbine to about 20 degrees that's where i'd like that so we've got this at about zero and this at about 20 and then we send out the 20 degree water to come and cool this area down i think that would work incredibly well i think actually we're going to implement that let's let's just start doing that straight away shall we uh we probably don't want we probably don't want this wine here either do we no no probably not let's think about how we're going to do it i want this to come down here so let's actually go bring this up this way and i've tried to do it in a nice smooth action but it didn't really work uh so we're going to take that down like that beautiful beautiful uh probably actually going to need to put um a bridge or a jump in to try and get some of these liquids out and past or we could have gone down via the bottom let's have a look at that actually maybe we could have brought it down jump over jump over go up okay i think if we do that and destroy this, I should have the plan in place as I requested it. Hopefully it's going to work out pretty well. Uh, all it's got to do at the moment is go back in this loop. So we need to try and get this uh, this whole section built down here. Of course, Mad Frank destroying stuff, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll wait and see how this works once everything has been put into play. What, why are you going in there? What's, what's the deal? Where are you going? I... Uh not overly impressed with this. You could have gone around the outside. Why did you let all this steam out? Oh, maybe we need to do something about uh, closing this airlock. We do occasionally need to get in there, but I think for the moment, that's not the case. So just for a quick update, we have got 300 kilograms of petroleum in here. We're aiming for 400. And over in the crude oil, you can see we've got 745 grams. We, we need a lot more than that. But oh, this pump has been broken because it's too hot in here, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've got a massive shortage of gold amalgam, so we're not going to be able to replace that. That's a, a tiny bit of a shame. I would have liked to have done that. What, this is over? Oh, no, pipe blocks. Hey? we got stuff going on over here, stuff that I will learn how to deal with later. So the good thing is, literally, as I'm watching it, the temperature is dropping quite severely. I'm not sure where that temperature's going. I'm hoping that the slicksters are eating it. Oh, it's cramped in here. Oh, guys, guys, we need to do something about that. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping these guys are eating it and turning it into, like, 50 degrees stuff. That would be great. Always one pipe somewhere that I just can't reach. Why can't I build that there? It must be because this is actually taller than that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I wonder if we can actually build up the side here instead. This this, this pipe here is going to be very awkward. Very awkward. I wonder if it's easier to build up and across. Let, let's try that as well. And if that actually just works out for us, then we'll do that instead. Well, we've got someone in here who's going to die very early. All he eats is oxygen and there's nothing in here but carbon dioxide. Okay, it turns out the pipe got put into the corner before anything else got done. I mean, the ladders got built, but we couldn't get across there, so I cancelled the job. And this should now mean everything's ready to go, but of course... Oh, look, yeah, yeah, it's going through here and cooling this down. What temperature is it coming out at? That's the real question. 14 degrees. Beautiful, beautiful. It is actually working totally as intended. 
comes out as predicted about 20 degrees oh that is wonderful wonderful it should then go through all of this come out of here at a reasonable temperature i'm not sure what we're expecting out of here maybe a 50 something like that the 38 i mean that's still pretty low in temperature so i am about that beautiful goes in adds itself to the uh, to the reservoir over here and it should work out well why do we have so many people idle why 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 power power to this one right here look these two bits of wire have not been built yet and they are very very important here comes mad frank to make that work uh we of course got this gas filter onto the same circuit as these oxygenating um circuits over here i'm gonna say uh because then this will mean this gets worked at what what what's wrong with it uh we have not gone down because that would have connected the system at the time and i had to wait for now okay beautiful I really love the errand system. I may have mentioned this once or twice in the past, but it is beautiful. Oh, Miss, uh, coming to try and grab some, some really nice materials off the top here. I wonder if she's got her hands on a whole bunch of really hot stuff. Let's. Oh, she's not carrying anything right now. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. She, of course, is up here to try and secure this place from the shove vaults. No, oh, we are so close to having just like a, uh, a well oxygenated area over here. These pumps doing the work, really doing the work. But how is Miss doing? We're getting this pump up and running. Beautiful, beautiful. This should now mean if we press the right button that we've got nothing but solid oxygen flow coming through here. We might even need to double up on the line. Oh no, oh no, we've still got salt water coming in here. I didn't even know there was still any left. I thought we tidied all of that up. Some must have made its way in here somehow. No idea how. We do have some more water coming through, thankfully. Uh, but wow, uh, not nowhere near as much as I thought there would be. Maybe we need to clean this water up. It is producing us all our slime though, so I'm very hesitant to use this little trickle of polluted water that we've got, but it is almost constant. Okay, if this is gonna work, I think we're gonna have to take a bit of a strong stance here. Is it the right sort of time? It is the right sort of time. I need to destroy this and replace it with insulated tiles. I think we're good to just lock this away now. Everything should be automated to the point of working fine for us. Okay, I've put the insulated tiles in place and it totally seems to be working. Look at that water come down to temperature. We now have like vacuum and water. I'm not so sure about this vacuum layer up here. Maybe we need to fill it with a little bit of hydrogen or something. But the fact that we are transferring into the water is be working out beautifully for us. Now we just need to solve this issue over here. Uh, I mean, it's, it says it's ready to run. We just need some power. Where is that power? Okay, here comes a little bit of power, and Forrest coming down to uh, turn the handle. Beautiful. This should get uh, much of the stuff that we need underway. Look how hot it's coming out, though. 98 degrees. That's fine. We can definitely live with that. That's why we've been setting up the cooling loop. Uh, but it'd be nice to bring that down a few more degrees, right? 20, 25, 30, 65, 70, 95. That's 100 kilos of petroleum right there. I just counted it through, and it should hopefully be enough to provide enough coolant for the uh, for the metal refinery down here. This was indeed the overarching uh, objective for today, was to try and get some way of producing steel to get this cooling loop on the go down here. Uh, and hopefully this will be it. Uh, once we get the steel, we will of course update this as well and try and get it into a much nicer and fancier form. Uh, there we go. We've got enough petroleum finally. And now they're just complaining about the power, but that is fine. Oh look, it's, uh, it's, it's gone back down. It came all the way up and then went back down. I wonder what that was about. Okay, one last thing, one very last thing. I've noticed that there is not enough power over here to keep the whole system running. So I have knocked down all of this conductive wire over here, the big heavy watt wire. We're going to send it up into a power transformer. We're going to then take the wire over here. We're going to run it through a battery and then run into this stuff so that hopefully we can keep a little bit of power reserves on the go because that is definitely the thing that is not working right now. Oh, look, actually, people are coming down here to have a go. This might mean, in fact, that the uh, coal generators are up and right. Nope. Nope, all right. I don't know what's providing this power, but it ain't here. Okay, I'm a little bit worried that we've got no heat transfer going through. And I see we've got Miss Align down here, so I'm going to use her to help me. We're going to go move into there and just move a little bit of chlorine in there. We just need a little bit of gas just to help the conductivity of the temperatures around here. Because, oh man, it's uh, there's nothing going on in there. There's nothing going on. All right, now that we've got a little bit of chlorine, just a little bit of chlorine, it should hopefully start bringing itself down to a very cold temperature. 
Somewhere around zero degrees would be nice. And now the real trouble starts. What happens when this water is too cold to go through the thermal aqua tuna? This is the big problem that I always worried about, and we have just run face first into it. I really wanted to get some steel going so that I could put one of these liquid shuttle valves in there and make it all like uh, timed and, and, and controlled by by, the, uh, by the, the the automation sequence here, but it looks like that's not gonna happen. I mean, we can make one out of iron. That's a 50 degree cutoff temperature increase. Let's see if we can do that. Does that go down like that? That does go down. I really wish I could do it right on top of it like that though. Like there would be great, right? Right there would be amazing. Oh, it's an unreachable. <laughs> I just closed all this off. Ah. Okay, I've got a couple of ways to try and solve this, and they're all up on the board right now. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to think is going to be the easiest one is I'm going to put a piece of radiant liquid pipe right here. This means that if the temp, if the water is too cold, it's going to end up sat there, uh, which will bring in some some uh, some temperature from outside and then start the cycle again. But if it isn't too cold, it will just sweep on past and not pick up too much temperature uh, at all. It will then go through the system. Uh, if that doesn't work, and we're now about to watch it, see if it does work, and uh, you know. What? This does kind of work. This is good. This is good. Um, I was going to say, if that doesn't work, then we we're going to go ahead and try and make this system here. But I might even just stop us right here and say that it has worked well enough for me right now and see how we do. Let's, uh, yeah, let's put those insulated tiles back and see what we can do. Oh, oh, Mimi. Oh, Mimi. She's doing it. Is that, that's it. That's our first bit of steel there. Look, there it is. Bam. Awesome. Oh, that, that is great. I just want to put this wall back into place before I say we are done. Oh, this is beautiful. So we're going through at 10 degrees. It picks up just enough heat to trip up this over and say, yes, we're just warm enough. It goes through the thermal aqua tuna. It comes out of here at minus three, at which point it goes through here and starts freezing some water down below. I am all about that. But it means there's a lot uh, of cold around here to try and bring this petroleum down to temperature because, as you can see, it's coming out of here at 209 degrees, going through here to cool down uh, to 120, providing enough heat to keep this steam turning. But more importantly, we are able to then start pulling down the temperature in this section here uh, whereupon every time that they use a little bit more output pipe full whereupon every time they try and use a little bit more uh, oh man we wait wait i see a problem here i see it's it's this we needed to have hooked this up let's deconstruct that and also let a little bit of liquid out just the smallest amount Hmm, also the fact that this is backing up like I did. I really didn't expect this much petroleum to get made all of a sudden. Okay, with that bridge being destroyed, we should be able to keep some uh, some uh, petroleum turning here. We are going to have to try and empty out a little bit of this here. I believe one of these does the thing. Mop liquid sprills? No, that's not what we're after. Extract pipe contents. All right, I want to click on that, and we want to keep an eye on it. Let's go for a nine and wait and see who comes along to do it. I, th I believe we've got someone who's going to do it. Luna. Luna is the only one with the skill. Where are you, my friend? She is going around doing a different job right now, taking a delivery of iron by the looks of it. Oh, whilst we're waiting for that, look, we got we got some crude oil being turned into petroleum here. How awesome. Okay, here comes Luna. I've got to get ready with the uh, with the council here. We're going to get a little little bit out and that should be enough right is that enough that's not enough okay how much do you reckon we need to drop Ooh. okay let's keep an eye on this until this stops saying output pipe full and we'll see when it goes okay there we go that's good enough that's good enough let's cancel that then uh it still reckons it's output full hmm i wonder how much we have to drop given that this petroleum is about 20 grams i'm gonna say it's probably about 400 grams right so uh let's try oh luna no 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 get Get back here. Get back here. We're gonna we're gonna do this first until this stops saying output full. Uh, that there's another one saying output full. I'm not sure how much we're gonna be able to move. I, there's, like I say, 20 a time, 20 a time, and we just want to see it. Uh, not constantly flowing, but to the point where it doesn't say output full anymore. Okay, no longer says output pipe full. I am going to assume that we're ready to roll here. Yeah, you can see we've got an empty bit there. So this comes up at 210 degrees before coming through here and transferring all its heat around. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we're going to take advantage of this. Hopefully make enough steel to put the thermal aqua tuner under here so we can use it to cool itself down and oh it will all be so glorious as soon as we get there but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye